Hello everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful day. My name is Bobby and I'm the Emperor of my universe. This video is going to be very specific and very succinct. succinct yeah. It's going to be about me. It's going to be about my journey and it's going to be in a little nutshell. And it's going to be about how I stay so positive and how I can be positive during whatever I'm dealing with and no matter what happens. And why I'm always smiling. And I've been told before by people that meet me, they're like, dude, one thing about you, you're always smiling. And you're always, and it's positive and always. Okay, one example in my life, and I've always thought of myself as a very happy person, just always looking for happiness, looking for the happiness in others. Even when I'm getting shit on, I'm like trying to figure out these people, right? But I've always been happy. But one incident that really kind of helped drive home how blessed I am to be here was when I got um, stabbed and I'm laying there on the ground bleeding out. It was like there were six of them. It was a, you know, trying to be a good Samaritan. Some guy was being robbed. Anyway, he ran because he was smart. I, I distracted him anyway. So I ended up fighting these guys. And long story short, I got stabbed and I'm sitting there bleeding out. It was my back. And I, you know, I saw, the odd part was. The, the hand that I used to, to feel my back to see, because I somebody said, your back is bleeding, right? And I'm like, oh shit. So I put my hand, and I saw blood all over my hand. And I instantly start, shit, said, shit, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to die. I'm bleeding to death. So I laid, I instantly laid, laid down, and I took off my shirt, and I started calming myself down. And I started, because my heart was pumping out the blood, and I'm like, I got to slow down my heart. So I was like focusing on my heart. I mean, this is what I'm doing, right? After I just get done with the fight. And I'm trying to focus on my heart because I'm like, I don't want to bleed to death. So I'm like laying there. And then I had one of the girls that were there, a little blonde, cute girl. I gave her my shirt and said, put, just put it on the wound. Just put pressure on the wound. And she said, she did. She was awesome. She was like, just, you know. And I'm just sitting there focusing on breathing. And, you know, and I was getting tension. Some guys pulled up in a Mustang and we just wanted to see what was going on. And, and then of course the ambulance shows up and the cop state trooper shows up and and I had a I had a full can of beer hit on my forehead so you know guy threw it and boom, bam that was in the middle of the fight so I was blinded for a second with beer and I smelled like a brewery so the cop thought I was drunk which I wasn't and so anyways I'm sitting here laying there um, saying my goodbyes to everybody I can think of to the girl at the time that I was in love with. Still, Lisa, she was dope. And all my family, I was just like, I wasn't gonna say goodbye. That was it, I was done. That was it. When you're done, you're done. And when it's your time, it's your time, babe. You can't do nothing but lay there and go, fuck, what else could I have done? What more could I have done with that life that I had? How much did I waste? That's what I was thinking. Right? I was trying to do good too. I wasn't even I wasn't doing bad. I was doing good. And anyway, long long story short, um I was, my parents were told that an inch higher or lower, that knife would have killed me. It would have been the end of it. But I got lucky. I was blessed. But it did puncture my lung and my spleen. And I was in surgery for five days. And I was euphoric when I woke up from surgery and realized I was gonna live and still be alive. And I said, you know, you're gonna live. You're just gonna have tubes and it's gonna be a minute, but yeah, it's gonna live. And I was euphoric. I can't. I've never been that happy in my life. Just like bizarrely euphoric, where I was just. I couldn't. I was so fucking happy to be alive, man. And it's hard to explain. And you have to go through that tra trauma of, of maybe being, you know, sinking ship. You know what I mean? And show up just in time when you're about to get eaten by the shark. You know, the shark's about to take a chunk out of your ass. You know what I mean? But there's, you're just lucky. Yeah, yeah. I was blessed that I survived. And I knew it. And that changed everything. That changed the direction. And the, and the odd part was it made me more, I had post-traumatic stress disorder still, which I didn't understand. But, so I wasn't really comfortable around people. After that, I couldn't go to bars and stuff and hang out. But, but other than that, I was just really jazzed to be alive. I mean, it went away once you start realizing the, the reality. But I was still very jazzed to be here. And that in itself 
you know, it, it's like counting your blessings, right? You see somebody in a wheelchair or that lady that couldn't bend her knee, that old grandma that couldn't bend her knees that was walking in front of me. And it took her like 20 minutes just to get in front of me. And I couldn't, I couldn't, I wanted to give her a piggyback ride, right? But I couldn't. I knew it for some reason. I couldn't even bother. I just said, hi, how are you doing? She was like, hi, you know, and just, it was adorable. And then people kept asking her if she needed help. And she was just like, no, I'm fine. Some big dude could have carried her easily. And she was like, no, I'm just doing her thing, right? Fucking badass. So you can't get nothing. Pity parties don't happen, right? That is it. That is the secret to my success. I'm very happy to be here because I was almost taken the fuck out. And everybody should be happy to be here. It's starting to really storm here. Yay! I don't mind storms, especially when I'm, I'm in my little capsule. It's kind of an adventure. It's like a little observation little capsule. And I can watch the ocean and maybe see a whale if I'm lucky. And, you know, floating wood, whatever. It's all right. Anyway, so my happiness is because I'm just lucky to be here. And we're all. Every moment's a blessing. Every every day's a blessing, and everybody that's in our life is a blessing, unless we treat them differently. Like I just somebody just reminded me that um, the people in our life, your tribe, should be proud of you, not jealous of you. So I'm looking for a tribe that's going to be proud of me. They're out there somewhere. I'm proud of you. So, <laughs> and I love you. And God loves you, and the universe is crazy about you. And I'm going to let you go because I rambled enough. But yeah, love you. And I want you to have a wonderful day. All right? Goodbye.